find inspiration for my work in the arts, in film, mm -hmm. in music, and architecture, not really in theatre. But I also find inspiration in the world, in how we as human beings see and experience and perceive the world, how we sense things, how we think and act and, and how we interact with each other and with the subject matters. I'm really, I'm a curious person, so I get inspiration from, let's say, the finest piece of art and the most flat, stupid things happening just by accident. And all this I like to include in one work of art because I think it belongs to how we are as human beings. I use actually a lot of technology in our um, works, in our performances. Technology that is integrated as part of the expression, part of the visual expression and auditive expression, sound expression. Because for me, the technology helps us to expand our world, to expand our sensing of things uh, the voice can be changed and, and immediately we sense other things, which um, I think is, is playful and, and, uh, and a joy, even though sometimes the technology is a devil, because sometimes technology doesn't work when you want it to work in the performance and then you are completely, <gasps> what to do? We do use a lot of technology as um, visual expression and sound, sound expression. The matter, the, the, the themes of our performances are, are big subjects like uh, Darwin, like war, m the Middle East, China, money, cosmos, and the next one would be the Arctic. We uh, uh, research a lot, big subject matters, and the way we do it, we also use, I would say, we, we have a kind of scientific Na uh, a natural science attitude to what we do. So we don't go the psy psychological uh, uh, path. We go through something maybe very concrete, facts, and use it, blend it uh, into a, an artistic soup. When I was 30 years old, I did not want to be where I was. I wanted to find my way in the arts. Well, it was a rather difficult period with family, private matters, and how to combine family life and artistic life. It's not easy. That was actually one of the crises of my life. So I would say I chose the arts, and the arts has been my way of living. <laughs>